Okay, we're back. Now, basically, I'm still going to use my Brushy Mountain uh, screen bottom boards because I do like them. And but we're, basically, we're using two bottom boards now. We're using a solid, and we're using the uh, um, one with the hardware cloth. So if we come around the back here, as you can see, we have this nice big gap here all along the back, which is okay. We could either slide the uh, corrugated plastic through the original rails, or we could just use a little oversized one and put it on the uh, bottom board proper. Um, so that's my thought. Another good idea of this arrangement is for you that use uh, the Varroa mite uh, vaporization method with oxalic acid and you have a vaporizer instead of putting it in the front you can just block the complete front off and take your uh, vaporizer and just slide it right in the back here and so it's, it'll be underneath the screen uh, bottom board which has an advantage because no bees will be burned. Anybody that's used this before uh, will find dead bees in that little cup. Not a, not a lot. And you got to be careful too with these things as I found. If you don't have a slatted rack in your hive and you just slid this in and you're only like uh, three quarters inch um, away from your uh, lowest uh, brood uh, frame some of them will catch fire I've seen that happen so this will help ensure that that doesn't happen uh, you may burn the wood on your bottom board so that's another thing to be cautious of um, obviously you would block the the back off while you're doing this if you're uh, treating for mites so anyway uh, the next step here is to try to uh, uh, accurately scale this thing so we can get uh, more precise measurements and I'm going to compare it to a bathroom scale and I'll have that in the next coming video. Uh, so anyway, if you like the videos, hit the subscribe button and thumbs up and get the videos free of charge. Be happy.